What is the single most important problem facing Columbus right now and what would you do to solve it? Well, I think Columbus is blessed with a lot of good neighborhoods and I think our biggest challenge is making those neighborhoods even stronger. Uh, I think on City Council we have an obligation to work with neighborhood leaders, uh, community associations, civic associations, and, and talk to them about what they would like to see in their neighborhoods. And I think we have an obligation then to advocate on their behalf, uh, create transportation uh, advantages, create economic development opportunities, uh, but really work with those neighborhoods which serve as our backbone and, and to enhance them to continue to make Columbus uh, such a great city, not only in the state of Ohio, but throughout the Midwest. Do you support the use of police body cameras and how do you think they should be funded? So body cameras I think are going to be coming to Columbus. I also think there's potential they'll be coming at the state level as well. I think we have an obligation to work with the FOP and civil right groups to make sure that the body cameras implementation are done in the best way so that officers are able to do their job but that citizens rights are also protected. We've seen body cameras throughout the country serve as a resource. I continue to monitor and look forward to the recommendations of Mayor Coleman's task force and then once we see those recommendations working with uh, Auditor Dorian in terms of how best to fund them and we should be uh, very focused on if they're state or federal resources as well but it's a discussion I think that's ongoing and one that I think will serve our city well. How do you plan to ensure integrity in the office of Columbus City Council? So elected officials like Caesar's wife should be above reproach. Uh, on City Council, uh, I'm committed to uh, continuing to advance and discuss having a Columbus Inspector General coming from the State House uh, and seeing also what the National Inspector General is able to do. They're able to work with elected officials to make sure there's no fraud, waste, not only for those elected officials, but for all local governments. Uh, I think having that Inspector General uh, serves everyone well, provides uh, consistent information, and allows for uh, proper investigation. So I think that's an important part uh, that the city, in terms of ongoing ethics reforms, needs to uh, take into consideration. What would you do to encourage growth and development, and what specific areas of Columbus would you focus your attention? So Columbus is a wonderful city, and, and we're continuing to grow, and we're going to be transitioning. I think maintaining a strong, safe neighborhoods and working with our neighborhoods is going to be important. Uh, I've been committed throughout my time in the General Assembly to have community meetings out at coffee shops, at libraries, and listening uh, to what those neighborhoods want. I think that's what's going to be important as we continue to grow our city. Uh, our neighborhoods serve as our backbone, and the role that they play is crucial for the transition that we're going to have coming. And so I think we have an important role of going out, working with neighborhood leaders, working with neighbors uh, and businesses on what they would like to see in their community, and then working hard at City Hall uh, to implement those ideas. I'm Michael Stinziano, and I ask for your vote for Columbus City Council. As someone that was born and raised in Columbus and now growing my family here, I know just how important our city is and really excited by the opportunity uh, that the city has for the future. Uh, I ask for your vote to be your voice at City Hall, a new voice, uh, one that will continue to go out in the community as I have as a state representative, uh, at libraries, at coffee shops, to hear your concerns and then advocate on your behalf at City Hall. Anytime I can be help or service, feel free to call me at 614-219-9224 or email me at mstenziano at citizens.com. I want to go to City Hall to be a new voice, and I ask for your vote uh, either early or on November 3rd. Thank you.